Can I introduce to the stage um, entrepreneur and angel investor Sherry Kutu, uh, Mind Candy CEO Michael Acton Smith, and um, Makey Lab CEO Alice Taylor. Hi, thank you for coming. Just, just stand, stand around. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> thought I'd get you all on at once. Hey, Thank yes. you. Hi Michael, how are you doing? Very good. So I just had one question that I wanted to <coughs> ask all of you guys, and it was, if you had one piece of advice for your teenage self, what would it be? And I want to start with Sherry. Okay. Um, so my one piece of advice for my teenage self would be exactly what what, what this you know what the former session is titled. I'd build your own business rather than joining a business. And just a story for that is um, my mother is a civil servant, my father an engineer. I'd never heard that it was a possibility of creating your own business when I was a teenager. And I think it's the most high impact thing that you can do. And I think I you know, I thought, oh, well, when I grow up, you just get a job yeah. at somebody else's big company. And I didn't realize that 40% of the GDP of you know, our country and the whole world is created by people like you guys who are going to start up you know, your businesses uh, and by people like you who have started up your own business. I had no idea when I was a teenager that. I thought I'd just have to get a job somewhere. Um, and it's so fun starting your own job and chasing your own passions and making the world better every single day. So that's what I wish I'd known then. Fantastic. Thanks. Alice. Um, so our session is about entrepreneurship and starting businesses. So come along and, and talk to us about the businesses you're going to start. Um, I agree. When I was a kid, there was no such thing, or I wasn't told that you could be an entrepreneur. So I went and got jobs and then realised you could. And the difference is huge. Um, but my one bit of advice would be remain young. Be a young person. Behave like a young person. Because starting a business is playful and fun and silly and weird, and you have to learn the whole way through and never stop learning. And basically, you can compare it to being a young person, being brave, falling over, picking yourself up, having a go. Oh, whoops, that didn't work. Have another go. Don't give up. Never give up. Keep learning. And that's what a young business is like. And then when it's fully established and like an old person, you can hand it over to, you know, a COO. <laughs> Excellent. Michael. Hello. Um, so when I was younger, I used to be incredibly shy. And uh, I'd never say boo to a goose. And I had these notebooks, and I'd scribble ideas and, and drawings, and I, I never had the confidence to, to show anyone. I was worried people would laugh at them or, or tell me my ideas would, would fail. So my big advice would be to have confidence. I think it's incredibly important. And as I've got older, I've realized how vital that is in business. You know, it's really hard starting a new idea. You need to convince a lot of other people to come along the journey with you. And if you don't believe in that idea, then it's very hard for anyone else to get excited by that. And uh, you can put that confidence to, to work today. So there's a lot of amazing people at this event. And I'd urge all of you to, um, by the end of today, speak to at least one other person. And uh, who knows what amazing friendships might be sparked or awesome projects uh, developed. So um, uh, yeah, it's scary. But um, go up to someone and, and introduce yourself and ask what they're working on. And uh, yeah, we're all going to be talking about our crazy entrepreneurial journeys uh, at about 12 o'clock, I think it is. So uh, I'll tell you how Moshi grew from a little sketch on a napkin to a business with uh, 80 million registered users and a movie and a magazine and all sorts of other crazy things. So uh, that's us. Thank you so much. And yes, so if you want to hear more from these guys, it'll be about 12 o'clock, but we'll tell you um, where you need to go and when. But thank you so much. Um, and well, look forward to hearing more from you later. You're up. Cool. Thank you. See you later.